Hi there. Today we're going to evaluate a limit using L'Hopital's rule. This limit is an example from the classic Stewart's Calculus textbook, so you might recognize it from there. The limit we're asked to find is the limit of e to the x divided by x squared as x goes to infinity. So recall, L'Hopital's rule can be used to evaluate limits with x going to plus or minus infinity. Now, if we want to use L'Hopital's rule, of course, we have to be positive that this fits the criteria for L'Hopital's rule to apply, which means this limit has to have an indeterminate form. To see if this limit has an indeterminate form, which would tell us if we can use L'Hopital's rule or not, we have to look at the limits of the numerator and denominator. So let's focus on the numerator first. Let's consider the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the power of x. What is this limit? Well, of course, if you've got e going to the power of x, x veering off to infinity, that's just going to shoot off to positive infinity. So that limit is infinity. Now, what about the denominator? Well, let's zoom in a little bit. We might as well. The limit as x goes to infinity of the denominator x squared, well, that's just infinity squared, so to speak, big numbers to the power of 2, that limit is going to be positive infinity as well. So this means if we plug in infinity, so to speak, into this limit, what we get is infinity over infinity. That is an indeterminate form, and so we can certainly use L'Hopital's rule to evaluate this limit. So, since we know this limit has an indeterminate form of infinity over infinity, L'Hopital's rule tells us that this limit can be evaluated by looking at the limit of the quotients of these functions' derivatives instead of the quotients of the functions themselves. So, let's carry on that process. We're trying to find this limit. We've got an indeterminate form, so we want to take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator, and then look at that quotient. Remember, with L'Hopital's rule, you're not necessarily using the quotient rule, right? We don't care about the derivative of e to the x over x squared. We care about the derivative of e to the x, and we care about the derivative of x squared separately. All right, so let's proceed here. This is going to equal the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of e to the x, which is just e to the x, divided by the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. So that's by L'Hopital's rule. This has to equal this. And now again, we can try to evaluate this limit. Let's look at the limit of the numerator first to get a feel for this. The limit of e to the x as x goes to infinity Oh, well, that didn't change at all, right? That's the same as what we had before. This limit is still equal to infinity. What's going on in the denominator? The limit as x goes to infinity of 2x, well, that's just 2 times really big numbers. That's going to infinity as well. So we still have an indeterminate form. This is infinity over infinity, so to speak. So we can actually use L'Hopital's rule again. There's nothing wrong with using it multiple times. In fact, it's often necessary. So again, we'll take the derivatives of the numerator and the denominator and look at the limit of their quotient. Since, after our first application of L'Hopital's rule, we found that we still had an indeterminate limit of form infinity over infinity. So we can just use the rule again. Let's go ahead and do that. So using L'Hopital's rule again, I know that this is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of the derivative of the numerator, which is still just e to the x, don't think that's going to change anytime soon, divided by the derivative of 2x. That derivative, using the power rule, is just 2, and now we're getting somewhere. Here, the numerator is going to infinity, while the denominator is just a constant 2. So this is a really big number. It's getting bigger and bigger. 
divided by a constant 2. Certainly, then, this limit is going to positive infinity, which now allows us to make our conclusion about the original limit that we were actually interested in. By our applications of L'Hopital's rule, we know the original limit we were interested in, which I will rewrite down here, the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x over x squared, this limit is equal to positive infinity. And that's how you use L'Hopital's rule to evaluate this limit. <laughs>